several products of the same type from different manufacturers like mechanical gaming keyboards for example, you really have to start looking at the subtle differences between each one to keep the review feeling fresh and unique. But from time to time we do receive a product that surprises us somewhat, just like the Rocket Vulcan 120 AMO gaming keyboard did when it turned up at the Technuovo HQ. There's no real hiding what the difference is either, it's the fact that the keyboard is using half caps rather than the preferred full caps like pretty much all other gaming keyboards on the market. They're a nice midpoint between the traditional caps you see on every other gaming keyboard and the chiclet style caps that you generally find on laptops. Now the actual half caps also expose the lighting effects sending light in all directions it's a bright effective way of showing off that beautiful RGB. However, that is not the only reason for the aesthetic difference. The Vulcan 120 AMO is the first keyboard in the Rocket range to use their newly developed Titan switches, which look to be a pretty much basic copycat of the Cherry MX Brown switch. Uh, they have a 1.8 millimeter actuation point with a 3.6 millimeter travel distance. The half key caps were a conscious decision to keep them lighter when pressed, allowing firmware to recognize the input up to 20 percent faster than traditional switches. The switches when used in fast succession when touch typing or gaming as I say almost feel like using Cherry MX Brown switches as there is very much a tactile bump on each button press. Now the Titan switches have improved the traditional design of the Cherry MX switches by installing two pieces of plastic either side of the crosshair switch uh, because there is no side to the actual keys it needed something to stabilize them. Now by no means is this perfect and there's still very much a physical wiggle to each key. It didn't get in the way of my gaming though and what's also strange is the fact that the keys are uh, concave which is typical of keyboards except the bottom row. Now the control, windows, alt and fn keys are all convex. Now I'm not sure why Rocket have decided on this aesthetic as it doesn't really make too much difference when in use. So the base plate itself is made from anodized aluminium which definitely adds a chunk of overall weight to the keyboard but it also means that it's tough and will not shy away if bashed around a bit during intense gaming sessions. The keys have also been sealed for dust resistance which reduces gunk buildup which could damage the actuation of each key. And also because of these half keycaps it makes it a lot easier to actually clean the keyboard uh, and I found that a mixture of compressed air and a q-tip is all that's needed to give the keyboard a thorough clean. So the top right hand side of the keyboard is home to a few media keys being mute which when pressed will send a wave of red across the actual keyboard and a volume and FX button which are directly linked to the vertical scroll knob. Now on the volume it turns the sound up and down and on the FX selection it cycles the RGB lighting. Now most of the time I kept it on volume as the lighting effects cycle anyway uh, and there's also a few M keys around the home block which act as macro keys but the easy shift plus button turns everything into a macro key so makes these six pretty redundant and it's a pretty big stretch as well if you are inside a game to get from your sort of WAS and D all the way to the home block. The whole keyboard does feel like a premium addition to your desk utilizing the AMO lighting effects that detects where your common key presses are and illuminates that area in a different color. It's only heightened if you're using a Rocket AMO mouse like I was when reviewing the Vulcan 120. If I held down a button on my mouse like fire inside of a first person shooter then the lighting effect from the mouse would start spilling over to the keyboard and vice versa. It's subtle but it does look actually quite nice. The Rocket Vulcan 120 AMO does include a magnetic wrist rest that connects to the bottom of the keyboard but it feels like the odd man out as it's made from a very flimsy plastic. It is a far cry from some of the more plush uh, cushiony types that we've seen from recent keyboards uh, and it's like Rocket thought they'd missed a trick and included one at the very last minute of production. It helps with things like typing but it's not very comfortable like the Fnatic Streak that we reviewed not too long ago. So I didn't really dive too much into the Rocket Swarm software for this review as I don't really travel much outside of the default settings anyway. I did change my lighting setup to the AMO effect though as you know RGB lighting it's it can look quite awesome and it looks quite tasteful here, but there's also some intuitive in-depth ability to set up your macros if you do wish. There's also an annoying sound effect that you can set every time a key is pressed. Don't do that. It's annoying and you'll be turning it off quicker than turning it on. So there is a lot to like about the Rockout Vulcan 120 AMO gaming keyboard and it's definitely one that's going to stay connected to my gaming rig for a while. I just wonder how quickly this trend of using laptop style keycaps is going to take off. 
I do, however, like it, and I definitely think that if you're in the market for a new gaming keyboard, then you should definitely check out this one. If you can try before you buy, then do do that option because the chiclet style laptop keycaps may not be for you. So thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Rockat Vulcan 120 AMO gaming keyboard. If you enjoyed this video, then do click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments below what you think about this keyboard, whether you would go for something like this or you would stick to something with Cherry MX switches with traditional keycaps or you actually like the half keycap style, let me know in the comments below. As I say, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.